to smell the ginger. Okay. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. I hope mom will be proud of me. Today we're making one of my mom's most earth-shattering delicious recipe. Ga hogeung. Better known in English as chicken ginger. It will change your life. It has obviously the kick and the spiciness of the ginger, the sweetness of the syrup pan sauce, and then all the juicy and the crisp of the chicken. Oh, so good. Let's get to it. The magic for this recipe is in the layering of the flavors. So first step, we're mixing the spices that the chicken will be marinating in before going into pan. Grab a tablespoon-ish of white peppercorn and grind them roughly. Transfer the result into a bowl and add two generous pinches of salt, as well as a good pour of soya sauce. All that salty coating will give the chicken a nice color. The chili powder or the chili flakes are optional, but they do provide a nice kick that complements well the ginger spiciness. Give all of these friends a nice twirl and put them aside for a second. Now that we have our marinade ready, time to tackle the chicken. Ideally, you'd be working with any pieces that have good bones or cartilage. Sadly, I only have a few breasts remaining in the fridge, so we'll be using those today. Make sure to keep the skin and cut everything into manageable pieces. Or, you know, whatever you can chew. Add the magic juice to your pieces of meat, as well as half an onion that you've pre-cut. Speaking of cut, make sure that you handle all knives and equipment with care because this ginger chicken recipe does not go well with a side of human finger. But back to our main business. Give all of our ingredients a nice massage for one or two minutes before letting them rest in the fridge for half an hour. While they relax, start chopping the garlic and the ginger. Small trick I learned recently, thank you YouTube. Use a spoon to peel the ginger. See? Easy peasy. Ideally, you'd want to chop them into very fine julienne, but since I don't want my second finger to become collateral damage, these thick versions will do for now. As we're holding a knife, we might as well cut a handful of coriander that we will use to garnish our dish at the end. All the garnements are all chopped up and ready, and these lovely ones have been hanging out in the fridge for 30 minutes now. Therefore, we are ready to assemble the dish. The chicken will be cooked in two phases. Phase 1. Sear slightly the onions and then bring all the boys to the pan on a medium-high heat. <laughs> it already smells delicious. As soon as they get in a slight brown cover, flip them over. The chicken won't be fully cooked, but that's actually what you're aiming for. In the same pan, throw in the garlic and the sugar. I've just finished eating three bowls in a row because that was very delicious, although a bit too sweet. So, um, yeah, cut on the sugar. Feedback from the mother, one tablespoon should be plenty of enough to get that caramelized hint and golden brown look you're looking for. As the sugar melts a little, add a splash of soy sauce as well as half a cup of coconut water. To this delicious sweet and savory sauce, bring back the chicken. Mm. Cover with a lid and wait. You can also dance if you want to. The trick is to let the chicken soak in as much goodness as possible while the sauce thickens. About five to seven minutes in, toss and flip the pieces of meat around to make sure that nothing gets burned because that would be very sad. As you're about to reach that perfect coloration, insert all the ginger you got, the more the merrier. Cover just a little bit more for the ginger and the chicken to really get to know each other and voila! Perfectly delicious ga hugo. Look at the beautiful golden brown pan sauce.
For a touch of color and freshness, don't forget to add your cilantro. If you're one of those people who can't stand cilantro, then I'm afraid we can no longer be friends. All right, time to taste. Just smell the ginger. Usually we eat it with rice, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to be ladylike. There's a bit in here. You obviously want a lot of that sauce and those little bits of ginger, those are the best because they're slightly caramelized and then they're baiting in the skin and the fat that came out from the chicken. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, small bite and small bite. Oh my god, it is spicy, kicky, oh! it hits all the right notes. Wow, wow. Oh man, she's gonna be impressed. Mmm. And I mean, the sugar and the coconut water just made a really nice, not too sticky, but just firm enough sauce that it is enveloping the entire piece of chicken. So you got sauce everywhere. Sauce is live. Also, because we put the ginger right at the end, they still remain a little bit crunchy and have that kind of spicy note that hit the ears when you crunch into them. This was very well done for a first time, Antrian. Mm. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very easy and delicious recipe. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts or how you would have tweaked it. Thank you so much for joining and on this, I'll see you next time. Not sure what I'll cook. <laughs>